In this exercise, we will look at calculating the Mach number when we're given the TAS and the outside air temperature. Just remember that the outside air temperature is the still air temperature, not the temperature that is sensed by the total air temperature probe. For our example, we're going to use an aircraft with a TAS of 470 knots with an outside air temperature of negative 50 degrees C. Our objective is to find the Mach number. The first thing to note is that we're going to use this true airspeed window, which is the double window, and we're going to use the lower portion of this. We need to find the negative 50 degrees, which is out here below the lower window, and we need to rotate the outer wheel until we see a double headed arrow appear in here. This double headed mark index arrow is the one that must be aligned against the negative 50 degrees. We now use the outer scales to actually do the calculation. First thing is to find the true airspeed of 470 knots on the outer scale. We read the mark number beneath this value of 470 and we get a value of 81. The actual value is not 81 but is a fraction of 1. So mark 1 would be here, so coming back here gives us a value of mark 0.81. We could also have done this using a calculator. If we use a calculator, we have to change the TAS formula around, and when we do that, to get the mark number, we divide the TAS by the square root of the 273 plus the outside air temperature, multiplied by 39. Now at these altitudes, the outside air temperature is almost always going to be a negative value. So we will usually have 273 plus a minus outside air temperature, which effectively means 273 minus the number, in this case 50, and then multiply that by 39. To illustrate the process of performing this calculation on a basic calculator, as is required for the Australian ATPL exams, I will use this calculator here that you can see on the screen. A couple of things to note are how the memory buttons operate. On this calculator, the M- button is used to clear the memory. The M+, button takes the number that's on the display and adds it into the memory. The MC button recalls the number that is in the memory back into the display. Not all calculators use the same labels on their buttons. For example, many will use MC to clear the memory and either MR or MRC to recall the memory back to the display. So let's now perform the calculation. The first thing we need to do is to clear what's on the display by pressing the C and clear the memory by pressing M-. In the calculation we need to add negative 50 onto 273. That is simply 273 minus 50 because it's a negative value and then press the equals to complete the calculation. It is important to press the equals at each step to make sure that the calculation is complete before going to the next step. We now press the square root to take the square root of that value. Now we need to multiply that by 39 and once again press the equals button to complete the calculation. We now need to enter this value into the memory and so we'll press the M, M plus button and we now need to divide the TAS of 470 by that value. So 470 divided by the memory and then press the equals button to complete the calculation and we have a value of 0 0.801. We can round that to mark 0 0.81, which is the same value as you obtained on your navigation computer. Here are a couple of exercises for you to try yourself along with their solutions.